Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we are going to do question number 11.24 from alcohols, phenols and ether. So the question reads, write the names and re of the reagents and the equations for the preparation of the following ethers by Williamson's ether synthesis. So basically, we are focusing on only one equation, which is Williamson's ether synthesis, where we are trying to prepare different types of ethers. So the first one is 1 propoxy propane. So here, propoxypropane meaning what? It is an ether linkage where you have prop propane chains on either side. So here we are going to have CH3, CH2, CH2, oxygen, CH2, CH2 and CH3. So this is going to be one propoxy propane. Now if I have to prepare this, the bond has to break on any one side like this. And when you're trying to form, one will form alkoxide, with the one with oxygen will form alkoxide, the other one of course will form an alkyl halide. So here we can take the one which has oxide and we can write ONA plus the other one which has only the alkyl chain will form the alkyl halide. So this is the first one where you're trying to prepare one propoxy propane. So here we have Sodium propoxide with propyl bromide, bromopropane to form propoxy propane. Alright, next one is ethoxy benzene. Here also same thing. Ethoxy benzene is where you have a benzene ring bonded to ethyl group. So that is ethoxy benzene. Where you have oxygen and that's bonded to an ethyl group. Now, same thing in this case, but one thing we need to remember is there are two places where you can break the bond, right? We will generally think, okay, we can break the bond here or we can break the bond here. But remember one thing, since these are aromatic systems, this one bond that is bonding directly to the benzene ring is the aromatic bond. Now, that is very difficult to be broken because that particular bond is held tightly to the benzene ring by resonance. So, breaking this bond will require very high energy. So, instead, we will prefer to break here all right so when that breaks there the benzene ring is bonded to oxygen so there we are going to form a oxide okay so o and a plus the other one a alkyl group will obviously form a alkyl halide so here you have sodium benzoxide sorry for sodium oxide with bromoethane to give you ethoxy benzene. Now third one is 2-methoxy 2-methylpropane. Okay, so let's go by the name. So here it says 2-methoxy 2-methylpropane meaning I'm going to draw a propane chain now. So first let me draw that. Okay, so I have carbon, carbon and carbon. Now it says 2-methyl so I'm going to put 2-methyl here. And then it says 2 methoxy. So the 2, this one, I'm going to put a OCH3. Now this is going to be my chain. So this is going to be the molecule. Now there's one thing to be taken care of. One is I can break the bond here and I can break the bond here. But remember one thing we have already learned this whenever we learned about Williamson's ether synthesis that you can't break a bond over here because when you break a bond there you will result in forming a tertiary alkyl halide and as a result of the stability of the tertiary alkyl halide definitely you will not form an ether instead you will end up forming an alkene okay so we will not form an ether over there so in that case we will only break the bond with the methyl group on top so in that case you will get CH3, C, CH3, CH3 and ONA plus a CH3 Br. So this way we will have the reaction forming in this case. The last one is 1-methoxyethane. So for 1-methoxyethane we have ethane chain here. Okay and it is just this. Now here also, we break it here or we break it here. Now in this case, we will break it on this side where the, you have OCH3. We will break it on that side because the primary carbocation formed here uh, is less stable when compared, is more stable when compared to the methyl. So in that case, we will look at this side and we will break the chain there. So this will be CH3, CH2, 
ONA plus CH3 Br. Alright, so this is going to be the fourth one. Alright, so this is how you apply what you have learned in the chapter in order to write down your equations.